Hi everyone, Mary here. Today is Thursday, January 30th, 2020. And I'm not even sure what I'm going to talk about. But um, I did want to do an energy reading for you. And it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, I can tell you that I have been feeling quite overwhelmed as of late. And that feeling... Um, it's funny because I had an amazing weekend and um, I had a good Monday, but Tuesday and Wednesday were a little iffy. Uh, I'm feeling a, a push-pull energy. So there's, an, there's energies of push and pull. So you may feel really good one day and then the next day you're feeling kind of anxious or depressed or you're waiting for, there's, there's a lot of expectation in the air. So. I think it's because there are many changes coming and so we're feeling those changes afoot, right? Um, some of it for me is I feel this impending earthquake coming for Puerto Rico. I feel like there's another one coming and some of my friends who are also very sensitive um, to energy are feeling the same way. So some of it could just be that. But I think I want to share with you my day yesterday. <laughs> Um, not so you feel bad for me or anything, but just um, I learned a valuable lesson. Um, yesterday started out... Yesterday I went for my normal beach walk and meditation, and there was an inordinate amount of garbage on the beach, which every day I and others who walk the beach collect trash. We do it every day. We don't even think about it. It's just something we do. But yesterday when I got to the beach, there was so much trash and my little bag just wasn't big enough. And I spent quite a bit of time picking up the trash. And by the time I was done picking up the trash, I was fairly angry, <laughs> um, which isn't like me. I was angry. I was judging the people who had been at the beach the day before and how they left their trash. I was all full of anger and judgment and I couldn't even get into the present moment with my meditation. I left the beach and went about my day, right? <laughs> so the day literally was a shit show. It was all downhill from there. I tripped going up the stairs. I, um, I had a uh, past life regression that in the end went well. I remained calm, um, but there was um, helicopters overhead, there was a crying baby next door in the next door room, there was all kinds of commotion going on and we had to restart the regression several times. And then after that the day just, it was just like a domino effect of um, things going wrong. <laughs> and I just felt like um, I was being picked at kind of and there was just no more of me to go around. So by five o'clock, I'm standing in my kitchen, you know, looking at um, a carrot, half a squash, um, some rice, and I was like, how am I gonna put this dinner together? I couldn't even think straight. I was in a tizzy. My dog was bothering me for, you know, food scraps that I normally just throw to him while I'm chopping vegetables. Um, and that just irritated me. So long story short, I started yelling at my husband for no reason. <laughs> like I completely lost my shit. I had a complete meltdown. And this is behavior that I have not demonstrated or I have not behaved this way in literally five years. This, is, this was all like really old stuff. And so I had to really, um, first of all, apologize to my husband um, and then just take a moment, right? And as I reassessed my day, I realized that it started at the beginning where I was angry about the litter on the beach and um, I needed to change my perspective. So this morning when I went to the beach, as I picked up the trash, because it's always going to be there every day, I did it with a change of perspective. I did it with gratitude and I was like thank you God that I'm I'm finding this trash before it makes its way into the ocean 
before um, tourists walk on the beach. And I feel honored that I am here picking up this trash. I'm grateful that I don't have to um, be in traffic going to a job that I hate in maybe a cubicle or something like that. I'm grateful that I live on this beautiful island and I'm doing my part to keep it beautiful. And so you can see the change in perspective that I had. And so this day is going to go a lot better, I think. And um, I just wanted to, to share that story with you of my day yesterday in case any of you are feeling anxious or feeling overwhelmed to try to remind yourself to change your perspective, go back into that neutral or zero point, um, gather yourself, get your bearings, be grateful for what it is that you have around you, and then continue on. So yesterday I just plowed through my day, I didn't take one moment for myself, and I realized that that caused um, me to have a meltdown. <laughs> So um, my husband was so sweet. He was like, well, you're human, and he forgave me. And um, it's funny how we take out, sometimes we take things out on people that we love the most, right? Because we feel comfortable with them, that we can, we can uh, be vulnerable, and we feel comfortable enough with them to know that they're going to continue to love us unconditionally and support us. So um, after all of that meltdown, I still had to make dinner. <laughs> you know, I still had to make dinner. It turned out pretty good after I had a moment to settle down and reconnect and reorient um, myself to that neutral place. Um, okay, so there is that push and pull energy uh, in the collective right now. So you may be feeling that as well. All right, so let's see what the cards have to say for the day. I'm gonna share with you something. There is a, an entity around me, a very benevolent being, and this being comes to me in the form of a praying mantis. And she, I, I call her she, although she is neither male or female, she's a balance of both energies, but I'm feeling her nurturing presence around me. Um, and I've been feeling this for about two to three weeks now. And it's funny, there, someone was talking to me about the mantis beings and that they were not benevolent beings, but this being that around me is benevolent and does help me with my healings and is very loving and is here with me now. So it's very interesting. I wasn't sure if it was my imagination. So I had a friend of mine who's very clairvoyant connect with me over the weekend and she saw a similar being. Um, so I just wanted to share with you that we are multi-dimensional beings and we're surrounded by beings um, in other dimensions that are here with us now, trying to assist us through this awakening process. So they're here helping us. So um, I need to do more research on the mantis beings, but her name is Rosie. Um, that's what I call her. That's how she wants to be called. So um, I feel like this reading is coming directly from Rosie, the praying mantis being. Uh, an extraterrestrial uh, who has been around me. Okay, so it takes courage to be vulnerable and to share these things with you all on YouTube, but there it is. All right, let's see what we have for today. The first card up is the Page of Swords. Pages are messengers. Swords is, can be clarity or truth. Um, sword energy is air energy or intellect. Um, this can also, sometimes represents like a spy in the camp. Um, so it depends on what you're reading. But right now we're just reading the energies. 
for today, maybe going into the next few days. Yeah, Rosie wants you to know that she's a very loving and benevolent being, and she is here to assist all of us. This is the Queen of Cups. Two more cards, please. Please show me guidance for today. And we have, this is the Knight of Pentacles. And we'll do one more tarot card, please. Whoop! This card jumped out. This is the High Priestess, or the Empress, sorry. The Empress card just jumped right out. And then I will look at the card at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Swords. Aces are all about new beginnings. And sword energy is, um, like I said, intellect, ideas. So the overall energy of this reading is that some new ideas may be coming to you. You may get a light bulb moment, a moment of clarity about a situation, or a big truth is, is going to be known. That's what this messenger is bringing to you, uh, this light bulb moment, this truth, this clarity. And um, the queen, with the Queen of Cups, this is going to bring you emotional satisfaction. Um, Yeah, I feel like this new idea or clarity you're getting is going to bring you emotional satisfaction. And the Knight, uh, with this Knight of Pentacles, this is the slower of the Knights, but it is an opportunity that is going, going to come in to offer you some financial stability in your life. But it's not going to be overnight. You first have to work with that brand new idea uh, or that brand new clarity, that light bulb moment. Okay. And with this Empress energy, this is the energy of birthing something new, the energy of creating something new. It's like you're pregnant with this idea, opportunity, and um, you're going to be birthing it. So. Hopefully that resonates with some of you. Um, we're already at 12 minutes, 13 minutes. It could also be that um, with that Empress card, some of you may be starting a family and wanting to create a new life or a new family. Okay. This is Metatron's deck from Amanda Alice. Please show us guidance for today. Beacon of light, shine on. I love this card because um, I drew this card yesterday. I'm going to be honest with you. I drew this card yesterday after my um, not so happy beach experience and the mood I was in right before I did my um, past life regression for a client here I, I just um, pulled a card for a little guidance and it said to shine my light um, I didn't listen to the card <laughs> I continued to plow on um, but uh, I am only human so the card is number 44 and four is the number about creating a solid foundation for yourself. And um, four plus four adds up to eight. And eight is the number of inf infinity. So infinite possibilities. It's also a number of uh, moving forward with whatever idea or um, light bulb moment that you're having. There is something that you're creating. Okay, so beacon of light to shine on. Okay, I am definitely going to shine my light today. <laughs> I picked up a lot of garbage. I felt good about it. And once it was all cleared, I did a really great meditation, really connected to Mother Earth. And I just thanked Mother Earth for allowing me to be at that beautiful beach and just witness the waves and witness her beauty. So, okay. 
Heavenly Angels, please show me. This is Kyle Gray's deck. It's Angels and Ancestors. Please show me guidance for today. And the card is Protection Guardian, Drop Your Shield. Drop Your Shield. What does that mean? Um, to me, that means taking down the walls, um, being vulnerable. Like, I'm being very vulnerable here to all of you. And it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to to share your feelings with your loved ones. Try to um, try to do it with love, not like I did yesterday shouting at my husband. But um, drop the shield and be vulnerable. Open your heart, right? That's where the light comes from. So keep that heart open. That's where we are um, anchoring in our hearts. And uh, when we have an open heart, right, uh, we share our love, our unconditional love with others. We, sh we share our light. But when our heart is open, and we're vulnerable, we also experience pain and suffering. And so that might not feel so good, um, but as long as you keep your energy um, uh, clear, your aura, your own like, uh, your own universe, so to speak, um, you can just allow that feeling of pain or suffering to flow through you and not take it in and hold on to it. Okay, so um, I'll just pull a card from Kyle Gray's uh, Keepers of the Light, just to get an energy that surrounds us today. Okay, so Heavenly Angels, Rosie, please show us guidance for today. I wish you could feel this beautiful mantis being uh, lovingly here and um, you know how praying mantis have the their praying hands or whatever um, this being is just wrapping me in love <laughs> and it's a beautiful feeling and she was here with me all day yesterday but I couldn't feel her because I was so wrapped up in my own anger and my own um, resentment I was really wrapped up in resentment yesterday. Um, okay, so the card that surrounds us is Diana. Focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. So this is Princess Diana. She's a warrior. She loves animals. Um, but she's a spiritual warrior, very strong feminine energy. So she is saying to uh, focus your intention. You may get this light bulb moment. An idea may come to you. Um, you may get a message about that idea. So that could be an email or you might see something that's going to come to you. This message is going to bring you some emotional fulfillment um, an opportunity to create the life that you desire. And you know, we're all doing that every day, right? So um, my experience yesterday was a huge lesson for me to stay in the present moment. And sometimes I need to change my perspective, right? To have the reality that I wish to live in. Um, and with these push and pull energies, some of the old behavior patterns may come back up, right? The old programming. It's coming back up to show us that it's still there a little bit. There's still some work that needs to be done. And, um, you know, being in the present moment, it's changing all the time. And um, it's not easy to stay there. It takes some work. It takes dedication and um, consistency. So I think that's it. I think I'll leave it there for today. I just wanted to mention that I will be in Manhattan, New York, um, starting April 25th. 
for about a week, maybe 10 days. And then I'll be going to Philadelphia for a week or so. And then I'll be going to the Charlotte area. I'll be in Cheryl's Ford, which is around Lake Norman. Lake Norman. So if you're in any of those areas and you wish to connect with me with a reading, a healing, a past life regression, um, just send me an email to the lighthouse medium at gmail.com. You can also visit my website, thelighthousemedium.com, and just go to the contact page and leave me a note, and I will set up an appointment for you. All right. Stay in the present moment, and I hope that you have a wonderful Thursday. Uh, much love to you all. Namaste.